diarrhea. Why do you need a thousand rolls of toilet paper even anyway? You're not. It's so um, right now it's Sunday the 15th of March and uh, I'm actually first flying tomorrow but since my flight doesn't show up on my itinerary anymore then I have to go talk to American Airlines since you can't get through on phone due to this corona situation. So um, this should be fun but uh, who knows, hopefully I can get home tomorrow. So just got back home to the Airbnb after being in the airport and getting basically told that my flight had been cancelled without being cancelled but um, at least I can call the agent tomorrow when they are having opening hours since it's Sunday and they are not open now so that's great but uh, I come home with the Uber and I pull up to the house and there's two police cars outside so, um, so yeah let's go find out what the fuck is going on so just another day in America Kind of weird when it's just outside your door, but um, who knows? Doesn't look like anything serious anyway. Hello, week. One shot. 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 Oh, he's not recording yet! I actually don't want to fucking play anymore after I have babies acting as a date. We might even done as a date. Hi, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> um. So, tell me a little bit about our current position. Like, we. Uh, we traveled to Paris. Let's start there. What happened in Paris? So we went to Paris, business as usual, just coming off a, a London win, taking a break from Atlanta. Um, obviously we got to the event, business as usual, we got to win his finals, uh, played war. Uh, first one was quite uh, close, and then after that it was quite comfortable, and then after we won that series we thought, yeah, we're, here we go, another win, here we go. and then. Grand finals came around and we were a different team. Lost that. But then we went from Paris to LA, where we came second, losing to Paris as team twice. The only team to beat us. Good little pickup team to be fair to him. Um, a lot of external factors going into that event, which might have put us off the game a little bit. And, uh, and now we're here in Dallas. <laughs> and just sat around. Right now we're in a quarantine team house. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the experience and uh, how it's been since you guys traveled from London to Paris. Been, again, the best practice, same as Minnesota, like so much better just living, like, even if just staying out here for as long as we are, so much better. But yeah, the vibes are flowing, everyone's sound. Uh, I know we're quarantined, but we're gonna stay in anyway, aren't we? Let's be honest, like, we're gamers, we just sit there and play games all day anyway, but yeah, unreal, it was good. How is it uh, being in a team house with your teammates? Uh, I don't know, it feels like it's just back home like normal, just we're all waking up at the same time scrimming like we do at home and it's just all of us being around the same table, I mean, it's mixed vibes, it's mostly good, but um, I don't know, just being around the same people all the time can also be just, you almost need your own time just to like chill out and do your normal thing like you would at home, so it's good and bad. Is it because we're quarantined as well? <laughs> that doesn't help, I don't know, like the whole corona thing just... It's a little bit weird, it's kind of hard to wrap my head around. Obviously being a gamer, inside majority of the time anyway, so it doesn't really affect me all that much, but the world's gone mad. My mom's told me to come home about 20 times, <laughs> but I uh, look at I think if I haven't already got it, I would catch it going home. So I'd just rather stay here and just be the one, just stay in really. Don't want to be going to the airport, because let's be real, that's probably the most, well, the most common place to get it with how many people travel through it every day. So yeah, I'd rather just stay here and just see what happens. Because you don't want to go home now and then they say these nasty events again and then we can't get over because of the lock off from America. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just stick it out and just see what happens. Well, it's always been like a goal to get out here for, I think, it's been on my mind maybe a year before I even started competing, like 18 plus. I thought, oh, there's so much better competition in America. Like, 
it's just it's ideal just being out here and then obviously it's happened now and there's whatever's going on going on it's like I've always said since this has started how unlucky it is that this whole pandemic things happened in my lifetime when I'm getting this sorted out so like it's kind of not really skewed the experience but it is still fun we're still you know getting our worth out of doing this so it's good.